क्वेश्चन इज इवॉल्युएट दिस लिमिट सो दिस इज डबल लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू जीरो वाई टेंस टू जीरो सो स्टेप वन इज फर्स्ट वी शुड फाइंड लिमिट कीपिंग वाई कॉन्स्टेंट ओके सो वी कैन फाइंड लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू जीरो फर्स्ट कीपिंग वाई कॉन्स्टेंट सो हियर एक्स वैल्यू जीरो वी विल सब्सिट्यूट वाई विल बी सेम so we will get 0 into y 0 plus y square so 0 by anything means 0 only we will get final answer will be 0 suppose this is as f1 step 2 is we will consider x as constant okay and we will find limit y tends to 0 so that means at the place of y we should put 0 x will remain same so here also you can see 0 into um, x square will be 0 by denominator will be final answer 0 let it be f2 now in step 3 after uh, second and uh, first and second step we can say limit exist and it it is equal to 0 but we will verify two more step step 3 is if f1 and f2 are equal then put y is equal to mx and find limit x tends to 0 this limit will be same as in the question provided suppose if it is x tends to 1 you will go with x tends to 1 and everywhere in place of uh, y we should put mx so simplify it first x is x cube we can say mx cube and here from denominator x square we can take common so one x we can cancel final answer is mx by x square plus m square now we will substitute x value 0 so 0 into m divided by 0 plus m square final answer is 0 so f3 so what we got here f1 f2 f3 all are equal that means we have to check one more step step 4 there we will substitute y is equal to mx square so step 4 is step 4 is y is equal to mx square in the same question and limit x tends to 0 as provided in the question so x square y is was given in the question so we will put mx square x power 4 and mx square power square because y square was given so this will be m x power 4 x power 4 here x power 4 m square x power 4 into m x power 4 we can take common limit x tends to 0 m by 1 plus m square so m is any constant number belongs to r that means it is irrespective of x so constant only so final answer will be m plus 1 plus m square so this is not equal to 0 isn't it for whatever value of m we will get different values of limit that means we can say f1 f2 f3 are equal but not equal to f4 if this happens we will say limit does not exist okay so whenever after two step you get both are equal check for the third step then also equal check for the fourth step if it is equal you will say limit exist otherwise limit does not exist